we li- are we live? Gee, dag on if we're not live. That's pretty nice looking. Uh, hey guys, well, see, I'm trying to get this on this fancy dancy iPad I have here. Hey, hello, it's Tom. Who's this? Hi, is this Nate? Yes, it is. Who's this? Ah, huh. all right. Thanks for hey, thanks for calling. <laughs> I'm trying to locate. Hello, it's Tom. Hi, this is Tom B. Yes, it is. Who's this? Oh, this is Chris Mendez. Chris Mendez. How's it going, brother? All pretty good. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm in. I'm back. We are finally. Uh, if you guys are just joining us. Uh, Tomorrow, we will be testing out the new studio. I have a live studio, Chris. It's uh, for Facebook, uh, for YouTube, and uh, we're going to start a new talk show on YouTube where we're uh, reviewing pranks, reviewing other people's channels. Like if you had a YouTube channel, uh, you could call and we could talk about it and stuff like that. But uh, And we're trying we're trying to super chat. Hey, Tom, Mabe. So, uh, yeah, man, that's all I got going on. Well, that's cool. I like it. Cool, brother. Well, thanks for calling, man. Yep, take care. We'll see you. So let's see. I am trying to get this going here. We got the Prank It Up TV. Hello, it's Tom. Hey, Tom Abe. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, it's Steven from Columbus, Ohio. Steven from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, I've talked to you before, right? I don't think so. Uh, someone else. Oh, you know who? Roman's from Columbus. That's how I had you confused with Roman Atwood. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I watch Roman, but I am. Uh, <laughs> what's, up, what's, what's happening with your... Not much, man. I'm about to go for a walk. Oh, uh, in Columbus? Uh, no, Hawking Hills, Southern Ohio. I see, I see. Yeah, we're just here. Uh, I'm trying to... Get, let me see if I can show you. So we got the... Uh, we got the Facebook Live room set up. And... Uh, and we could put anything, Stephen, on the screens. And um, so slowly but surely, finally get my live cast going. So we'll have uh, all these different cameras and whatnot. And, uh, but right now, instead of using my, my black magic cameras, I'm, uh, I'm using my phone because I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing, but. Uh, <laughs> But this is gonna be cool, man. I'm uh, I'm really excited about uh, the uh, the super chat now, where people can actually call and uh, and we'll have guest people like maybe I'll have a Roman in or have a Dennis or a, uh, another YouTuber in and uh, do the super chat, critique people's uh, uh, channels and Facebook and all that kind of stuff. But hey, hey, but thanks for calling, brother. Hell yeah, man. That was cool as shit, man. I, I never met you before, but damn, it's good as hell to talk to you. Hey, good, and it's Steven. Yes, sir. Steven, Columbus, Ohio. All right, brother. We'll see you soon, man. We'll talk to you down right, the road. Thanks, Tom. Right. I'm from Albany. Uh, why the call don't work? I don't know why the call doesn't work. Because I got one line here. Hello, Tom Mabe. You're in the air. Welcome to Prank It Up. Hello? Mm. Um, wow. I'm a huge fan of yours. I'm so glad you picked up my call. Yeah, well, I'm picking up all the calls. I just Apparently, they're, they're coming in random orders. There, so, What's happening? Who am I talking with? Uh, my name is Sean. I'm a YouTuber. Hi, Sean. Uh, what's your uh, What's your YouTube? What do you do? Um, it's called Sorbader Four. Sorbader Four. Yep. Yeah, All right. I also call it Prankster's Nightmare. I was starting to do a little bit of a name change. Yeah. Kind of cool or whatever. Nice. But um, yeah, I make pranks. Where you Where you based out of? I live in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Wow, I did a show in Kalamazoo, Michigan, maybe 10, 10 years ago. It was, uh, it was, it was a, a place that, um, it was all, it was a comedy club, a bar, a nightclub. It was all kinds of different things. Uh, not a big fan of the, the club. It was a long time, like an old theater type. Well, cool, man. You there? Yeah, I'm still here. Cool, brother. Well, hey, good luck with you and your channel. Stick around. Eventually, we're going to be doing critiquing channels and stuff like that. 
and trying to figure out a way where I could pay for all this stuff here that we just bought. Uh, I bought a, uh, let me turn this around so y'all can see the TV over there. Does that, does that work? That is, so these, this is my Facebook YouTube live studio. And, uh, and uh, so yeah, man, we're, we're going to do a talk show and all kinds of stuff. So I, uh, thanks for calling me. Thanks for calling. Yep, I've been a, I've been a fan of yours since like 2012, and I'll continue to remain a fan of yours. Man, thanks. Um, I appreciate the kind words. Day. I appreciate the kind words. All right, I'll see you, man. See you, bye. All right, goodbye. Bye. How cool is that? That was uh, so and so from uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Tom Mabe here. It is a Friday. We are live. I'm testing out. Uh, oh my gosh, it says live stream offline here. Am I live? Am I live? Am I live? It says live stream offline. That's confusing. Hello, it's Tom. Hey, Tom. It's Tim from North Carolina. How you doing, brother? Hey, man. Just saw your live stream come up, man. Is it still live, guys? Am I still live here, Tim from North Carolina? Because, okay, here, I'm, I'm using an iPad right here trying to read the uh, the comments. Uh, you are live. Well, thank you there, uh, Free Cycle Paul. Uh, so what's going on in North Carolina? Not much, man. The weather's great. Fix to go out and ride on the motorcycle a little bit, man. You should join us down here in North Carolina sometime. Man, how cool would that be? I love. Uh, I sold my motorcycle and bought a sports car. It was the dumbest thing I ever made. Did. That's the worst decision you ever made. Yeah, it's a nice sports car, but I missed my motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, man. All right, brother. Hey, thanks for the call. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, buddy. So, guys, here we are. This is the Yo-Yo Tom. Uh, this is the set of my uh, my Facebook live room. This will be uh, going strong here tomorrow. I'm hoping to be uh, be live. And uh, hey, hello, it's Tom. Who's this? Yeah, this is Derek from Nampa, Idaho. How's it going? Hey, Derek from Idaho. I've never been. I've never done a show in Idaho. I always end up in Iowa. Um, Wait, are you how far from the Dakotas are you? Like South Dakota, North Dakota? I'm like right next to uh, Oregon. Oregon, wow. Yeah, I'm way over here. Where are you? Where are you at? Where do you do most of your comedy at? Uh, well, when I tour, I, I do all over the Midwest. Uh, when I do stand-up comedy, but when I'm uh, just shooting video, we do stuff in the South. I'm in Kentucky right now, and uh, right. yeah, so yeah, we we love Kentucky. It's a it's a fun place. The laws here are really good to shoot video because a lot of times, like recording. Uh, you don't need the permission like a lot of other places. So I, guess. Yeah, I like that. So what what do you do for a brother? I live in brother. Uh, I uh, I'm disabled and I uh, I build sheds for Home Depot. You're disabled and you build sheds for Home Depot. So I don't get it. I don't understand how you could be disabled and have the ability. The it's able a long story. Is man. it? So you, are you double dipping a little bit, brother? You, is that what's uh, going on? All right. I ain't saying I'm double dipping anything. I'm just, you know. But hey, I got a question for you. Sure. Enough about me. Right. How how did you get your start? I, I came across you recently, and I've been watching some of your videos and stuff like that, and I, I really love it. I watched the one where you, you pranked the guy, and you said that he came home drunk and stuff like that, and you went out there, and that was just so elaborate and awesome. Oh, yeah. And Thanks. I was, I was just wondering, like, you know, because me and my buddy, we, you know, we always talk about, oh, we're going to get a green screen or we're going to do something silly. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering, what, you know, where did you come up with the, kind of how did you decide to write out, like, these, do you write out scripts when you do it? You know what I mean? We, or, we call them, like, wait. exactly what's going to be said and then kind of do it frame for frame and write down, oh, well, the camera's going to be over here and then I'm going to move it over here for this shot or mm -hmm. how do you do that? Well, well, let me explain. And your name again? Derek. Derek from Idaho asked me how I got my start in doing these videos and, and, and the process of doing these videos. Great question. I got my start, uh, started out as a singer songwriter. Uh, that was going to be my goal. I was going to be, uh, so, you know, I was going to be a, a singer songwriter. Next, uh, whoever. Richard Marks at the time, I guess. Um, Barry Manilow, if you will. So, uh, and uh, I quit my job at an ad agency to start. Uh, working, I built a recording studio in my home. Now, when you're self-employed, you, you jump when the phone rings, hoping it's a client. And nine out of ten times, it was always a telemarketer calling me. I'm like, "Daggone, these people use my phone more than I do, and I gotta pay the daggone bill." So, I, as a fluke, as a joke, Derek, I started recording the telemarketers, and uh, and this is before the internet. 
and so I started uh, uh, putting them on cassette tape to my little studio and passing them around. And uh, I got a call from Scott Hendricks's office. Scott at the time uh, went from Capitol Records to Virgin Records, Nashville. And he said, hey, they said, hey, Scott Hendricks wants to meet with you. And I thought, well, heck, he must have saw me as a songwriter in uh, Louisville or in Nashville at the Bluebird. And he, he likes my stuff. I thought I was going for six days. Derek, I thought I was going to get a record deal uh, with Scott Hendricks for being a singer songwriter. I get down there. I'm nervous. I, I'm, 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 I meet. I think I end up losing like. 12 pounds of six days to get ready for the meeting. And uh, he said, hey, man, we are really digging your stuff. And I was I heard Tractor Factor or, or uh, I Went Insane, But I Came Out Crazy or some one of my country okay. songs. He said, so what made you decide to record these telemarketers? I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, someone sent me a cassette of your of your comedy. I'm, I'm, I'm not a comedian. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a singer-songwriter. <laughs> So I get a record deal on Virgin Records, a uh, six record deal on a recording I made on a $37 answer machine messing with telemarketers. And from there, I was traveling around. Virgin had me touring, doing radio in, 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 every, you know, in Idaho, in Los Angeles, in New York, Florida, Miami, Detroit. I was everywhere. So when I was out in California, someone heard me uh, on the radio out there at KFI with Bill Handel, and they called and said, hey, we want you to come with an um, in a Hold on, this is coming back up, going live. Uh, and I'm getting a TV show called Maybe in the USA uh, on uh, FX. So, but to, we just have a bunch of uh, cameras all over the place, uh, you know, just mount it. Or we have three, okay. or, three or four people, then we'll come back. Uh, sometimes I'll take a camera and I just, I'll, I'll put it behind something, like especially the GoPros. On that camera you're talking about, I put a, like, I put a camera behind an old coffee can on the, on the front porch there. So we gather all that footage, we go back and we, uh, and then we just edit it. And I, and as far as like script wise, you can't really have a script on a prank because you don't know, you don't know what the other person's going to say. So uh, I have a beat list. All right, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say that. And a beat list is like, you know, hey, where were you last night between the hours of eight and 10? I knew I was gonna do that. You know, hey, uh, you know, did you, you have you have alcohol in your breath? I knew I was gonna have the cop do this and that. So that's uh, that's how I do it, man. So uh, just write write down all the little beats it's called a beat list, and you have a shot list of the of the angles that you want, and you just set everything up. You hit go, make sure your cameras are recording, and then you uh, you freaking go edit it, and bam. Awesome. And if you're lucky, you get a viral video. Awesome, awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate you taking the call. All right, buddy. We'll talk to you soon, Derek. See you. All right. Bye. So that was a long way to answer. Sorry, Derek. I got told him about my whole... I started out as a child. Uh, hey, it's Tom. Who's this? Yo, what's up, Tom? It's Aaron. How you doing, Aaron? I'm doing good, man. I've been watching for uh, about two minutes. Oh, man. Cool. I appreciate it. Where, where are you calling from? Uh, Kansas City. Kansas City, misery. Oh, Why the fuck I'm in the Kansas side, so I'm good. The Kansas, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, both the horrible and the misery. The, yeah, well, so what's happening in your world, man? What's new? Uh, not much. Been uh, watching those daily vlogs from Roman. You know, I miss you. You, you know, know, man, I, I miss I miss doing that. I, I was doing the vlogs for a while, and, and every time I pass through um, Roman's neck of the woods, I'll stop by. I don't throw me one the in the vlogs. Vlogs. Uh, I really want to start doing like a daily thing when I'm doing right here, just talking to the yeah, fan. Sure. You know, that may be my daily vlog. I may just start out here and do it every day. I heard, I heard uh, Gilroy, someone. Uh, no, that didn't happen, Mike. That was your, I think that was your mom or your wife or sister I'm making a comment there. So, hey, brother, thanks for calling. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, man. You have a good one. You too, man. People busting my chops in the comments here. Must donate to get through. I get it. Uh, you know what? You, know, you you don't have to. No, people are just calling. But you know what? Donate, I'll call you. Hey, Tom from Dubai. Hey, it's Tom Mabe. Who's this? It's Catherine Card in Virginia. Catherine Card from Virginia. Have we spoken before? Yes, I just wanted to say that you know my dad was watching and said, "Hey, don't you compare Tom to me? Tom is better." Nah. Well, tell your daddy rocks. I appreciate it, man. He said I shouldn't have even called you old. So <laughs> That's right. You did call me old. And I was going to ban you for life. I'm oh, sorry. I am old. 
Hey, all right, good hearing your voice, Catherine. We'll talk to you soon. I kind of have a good idea. I want to ask you a quick question. What's a good prank I can do with my husband? That's right. You called about your husband. So remember, uh, you're married. What? You're in Virginia. What are you? Twelve? How old are you? I'm thirty-four. You're thirty. You know what? I'm not that much older than you. Uh, a good prank you can do with your husband. Uh, pregnancy test. I can't do that. He knows what what just happened the other day. So no, okay. can't do that. Okay. How about uh, hide hide condom wrappers. In your purse and have them go get an onion, just the wrapper themselves. Give me the <laughs> what you tell me, you can go back and tell them to watch this and they'll know it's a prank. And then, if you ever really do have condom wrappers in your purse, you know, it's like, <laughs> put a note here, you can put a note in your purse say, got you, and uh, underneath the uh, con after the he has to open. I think I always wanted to do that when I'm out, when I'm out with uh, my buddies and we're, we're traveling. I'll get in their luggage and I'll put all these con I'll go get condoms and throw in their pant pockets and stuff and uh, so when the wife gets home to do their laundry, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it does sound funny, but he would kill me. Well, you before he killed you, you meant to make sure that he saw this and know that was a joke. Yeah, that's true. I'll send him to the video and say it's Tom Nade's fault. Yeah. And then you get no all right, yeah, all right. Well hey, have a good one. Tell your dad, hey. We'll talk to you. All right. Bye, right, see you guys. I think that's funny. Is anybody a Maverick? Is anybody a Maverick? A Ford Maverick? What do you mean is everybody a Maverick? <laughs> Hello, it's Tom. Who's this? Hey, Tom. My name's Billy. How are you? Hey, Billy. What's happening? Oh, not a whole lot. Um, I kind of got a strange request. I, I, I watch your shows a lot. And, yeah? Uh, I, I really like what the things that you do. And... I'm kind of using this uh, live stream to do it to my advantage, hopefully. All right. Uh, I got a, my wife's real sick and uh, ended up in the hospital. And she's out. No, no, I was just kind of trying to see if I can maybe get one of those prayer requests out there. Dude, we'd love to go do a prayer request. You know what? Here's a bill, and it's Billy, right? Yes. Billy, yeah, so positive thoughts and prayers going out to Billy. His wife is uh, in the hospital. And where, where, where she, what state is she in the hospital at? Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. So, uh, yeah, man, a lot of prayers going out to you and uh, and your wife and your family, and God love you. That, that's tough, man. That's tough. How, do you mind me asking how old your wife is? Uh, she's 45. Jeez, she's young. Yeah, she is. She's, uh, you know, fought cancer and beat it seven times, and uh, this time around she's not going to beat it. So. Wow. Well, dude, that's tough. That's tough. You know, hey, give us a call back and let us know how things are going, all right? Oh, I will, absolutely. And uh, I, I appreciate you letting me put that out there. Nah, uh, man, we all need a... Uh, prayer always helps. I believe in the power of prayer. I, I, a lot of people get upset with me when I talk about that stuff. But, you know, hey, that's the beauty so about, you know, that's, that's the beauty of America. You believe what you want to believe. All right, God bless, dude. We'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you, man. All right. Man, that was Billy calling from Phoenix, Arizona. His wife is 45 years young. Gee, that's young. And... Want to so send out some prayers? Uh, the prayer warriors out there for Billy and his wife. Yo, it's Tom. Who's this? Hello, this is Devin from Minnesota. Devin from Minnesota. How you doing, Devin? Pretty good. I uh, just wanted to give you a call and say I'm listening to your live chat right now. Yeah, yeah, that's fun, huh? Who has Musically? I don't keep. I keep on uh, Devin. People keep on saying who has Musically. I don't know what that is. I guess that's an app that you could do like a duet on or karaoke and stuff. So, hey, so what do you do in Minnesota, Devin? Um, you know, we use, we do a lot of snowmobiling and stuff. Are you near Brainerd? Nope, I am, uh, near Portland and stuff like that. Cool. All right, brother, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Yep, bye. All right, people call me with something interesting. I want interesting things, and I I want it now. So, um, uh, what do we got? What do we got? I gotta go pick up my daughter here soon, so call me 502-499-4747. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hello, Tom. <laughs> Hi, who's this? Is this Deborah again? No, this is Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from, from Louisville, Kentucky. No, you're not. I swear. Rachel, little Rachel's calling from Louisville, Kentucky. What uh, What's on your mind, Rachel? What do you do in Louisville? I uh, work at UPS. Everybody, where, you, where do you go to school? I uh, went to U of Yeah, baby. I tell you, a lot of people... Uh, I graduated with, went to college, and 
you know, you, uh, you if you're in the Louisville area and you work at UPS, they will pay for your tuition, correct? Yes, sir. They paid for it all. Went through no debt. How cool is that, man? I'm thinking about going back to college to be a steamboat captain, and they're like uh, my friend, and I want UPS to. So, what's on your mind, Catherine? Just called in to say hey. Hey, hey, hey! What what do you do when you're not working at UPS? Um, let's see, not much. <laughs> <laughs> not for much. This is Dan, Catherine. Dan says, "I just want to thank you for all your great videos." Uh, I read serious news every day. Boy, I tell you what, the news, uh, that was Dan McCormick. I'm sorry, Dan, my eyes are old. Um, yeah, we try, to, we try to break the news, the monotonous of the bad news by having fun. All right, Catherine, have a good one, baby, all right? All right, thank you. We'll see you. You know I'm in Louisville, right? You know that? I know. All right, all right. We'll see you. Rachel, yeah. See you, Rachel. Bye. Tom, can you do a prank video? around the phrase sorry about your face no that sounds mean i'm not going to do that all right uh so uh so if you're just joining us this is the the new facebook live podcast live room we got a control room over there we got multiple cameras although i'm still using my thing here hey who's this hey it's uh, dakota uh from oklahoma dakota from oklahoma come on that's a cool ass name What's your oh, thank you, man. That's cool. And being from Oklahoma, how cool is it? Dakota the Cowboy, the Cowboy from Oklahoma. What's yeah. happening, Dakota? Native American, actually. Native, you're Native American? Yes. That's awesome. Now, uh, now my uh, geometry is, uh, my, ge my geography is bad. How far is Oklahoma from the Dakotas? Uh, I suck at math, so... And no, never mind. That's, not, I'm, <laughs> that's like a couple of days, right. Uh, so what's on your mind, Dakota? Yeah. Um, just, you know, uh, chilling out until I go to school at like about 5 o'clock. Chilling out uh, and, uh, I'm actually like, procrastinating on the paper right now. I'm turning. <laughs> cool, cool. Hey, Dakota, what do you think about the conspiracy theory of the... Uh, someone just said... What do you think about the conspiracy theory of H A A R P controlling the weather? Uh, I don't really know about it. I, I usually don't really read about conspiracy theories. I usually just sit around and chill out with my friends. Yeah, same here. Alright, Dakota, anything else before I hang up on you? Before I, before I let you go? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I really appreciate you taking my call, man. I've been calling like most times. <laughs> no, no. Oh, well, cool. I'm glad you got through. Eventually, we're going to do a thing where. Uh, we're going to uh, give advice on people's YouTube channels and their Facebooks and, and, and let people know why their videos, why they're not going viral. Like right now, I'm crushing it on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Tom Abe Comedy. But I've got, I'm still in algorithm gel and the, uh, the YouTube. But uh, we're going to have some fun critiquing other people's channels and giving them tips. Maybe roast, roast the people. So, all right, Dakota, have a good one, brother. Hey, you too, Tom. Take care, man. Wow. Keep up doing good work. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks. So, why does someone says I feel like uh, I was the only girl in this live, but I'm not. I thought you were the only girl too. All right. So we are. It is 2:45 um, Eastern time here, in Louisville, Kentucky. Hello, caller. You're on the air. <laughs> Who's this? And they're not. Am I, am I, am I hanging up or someone there? Someone tried to get in, they finally got in, and they were shy, or they were next relatives. All right, so who do we got here? We got a... Won't let me call. Matt, boy, why won't I let you call? Well, next time we're going to flip it. I'm going to call people. Hello, it's Tom Mabe. Who's this? Tom Mabe. This is Sean Hope. How you doing, brother? How you doing, Sean? I'm not too bad, my man. I, I, I'm happy to reach you, man. I've been trying for a minute. Yeah, a lot of people have. I think once we get more phone systems in here and phone lines and whatnot, we'll have a producer, you know, putting people on hold and uh, and kind of qualifying who's getting through and whatnot. It's going to be more fun. So where are you calling from? You sound like you're driving. I am driving, but let me turn off the AC here. How, is that any better? Um, uh, all right, it's fine. I, I hear the road noise. It's, it's not distracting. It's okay. What's happening? Where are you, where are you driving to? Much. I'm from good old Ohio here, man. Just uh, loving what you do, brother. Oh, that's awesome. What part of Ohio? Uh, 
Uh, it's close to uh, Pascala. You know that? I don't. I don't know that at all. You call it uh, Pascala? No. Is that near? What? Where's that near? Um, that's near Columbus, like Miller's Port. Oh, uh, Mil I know. Yeah, so. yeah, Miller's Port. Yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with Miller's Port. Uh, the uh, Atwood Boys and the uh, Chase Gilroy. Yeah, yeah. Is that that way? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I love what they do. I love what you guys do. Yeah. Awesome. That's cool, man. Well, I want to take up too much of your time here since I'm driving and uh, already watching your videos while I'm driving. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, brother, man. You take it easy, sir. All right, see you, man. We'll see you, man. All right, later. Later. Cleveland's in the house. It is 247. And eventually, we are going to flip the switch, and we're going to call you guys. Hey, Tom, where's Kimmet? Uh, Kimmet has a show tonight. Kimmet's in a uh, band as so let's hey Tom watch you and hear your Facebook loving your uh, live streams. Thanks, man. Hey, who? Uh, hey, hello, caller. You're on the air. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, Tom. Hey, how are you doing, brother? Good, good. Nice. I watch your videos all the time. Oh, that's cool. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Houston. Houston. Wow. Tell me, uh, what's the flooding like down there? Oh, it was it was a horrible experience. It was a really horrible experience. Mm. Houses were flooded. Um, it was horrible. It was really bad. Hey, you know, uh, someone, Candy says she hates talking sometimes. Just by the way, I just want to give you a... We're on the phone with uh, Mr. Houston. What's your name again, Houston? Uh, Andy Garcia. Andy Garcia? Yes, sir. Your name is Andy Garcia? Yes. So, your parents, potheads? <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm just curious. No, no. Yeah. Oh, hold on, but you're like, okay, you know, you know who Andy Garcia is, right? Yeah. The other Andy Garcia? Well, yeah. cool. Well, cool, man. Hey, I'm glad that uh, Houston is kind of bounced. You think it's, how long is it going to take to get back to normal, you think? Um, I don't know, a couple, uh, yeah. A few years or, a few years, a few months or a few weeks, Andy, what do you think? I think a few years. Yeah, I don't know that they're ever going to recover completely. It was bad. Oh, horrible. Yeah. Someone says, Wild Tom is live. Nice. So, hey, Andy Garcia, I'm going to take a few more calls before I got to go leave and pick up my kid, okay? Okay. Happy Friday to you. Have a good weekend. You too. God bless, man. We'll see you. All right. Let's see here. This is, uh, have you, have you joined, have you posted a second video on how to build a bait phone? Uh, let's talk about that. Hello, caller. Hold on one second. So, the bait phone I got in trouble with, guys. They, they pull the ads off the bait phone. It's entrapment. Yeah, I can't do it. It's just, uh, I started out with a dog collar, which I ended up sen sending to somebody. It's a one of those electric shock dog collar, but, uh, uh, I, it's too much of a risk of getting, um, getting sued. So, hey, caller, you're near. Who's this? Um, this is Nathan from Ohio. How you doing? Nathan from Ohio. I'm well. How you doing, brother? I'm good. I, I'm insanely excited right now because I did not expect you to answer. <laughs> <laughs> So Nathan, for a minute, man. that's what the other guy said. Try like that saying, trying for a minute. That's cool. The other guy from Ohio said the same thing, trying for a minute. So um, what what do you do in Ohio? What part of Ohio do you live in? Uh, I live in Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon. How far from Columbus is it? Mm, about an hour and 30, like 30 minutes, I think. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. All right, brother. So, so I, I, had a, I had a question. Yeah, yeah. I love questions. All right. So when do you plan on like doing more collaborations on YouTube with prices and stuff like that? Uh, real quick before I let me just say hi from uh, someone say they're calling from uh, uh, let's see I donated five dollars best five dollars that's prankster's nightmare oh thank you brother I love your video someone just called okay so the question is uh, I was, I'm sorry I was trying to read comments too I have an iPad and I got my iPhone and yeah. uh, and I got an eye patch because my eyes kind of hurt I'm teasing. Uh, the um, I'm collaborating. Well, we're starting. Uh, I manage a group called Lincoln Bridge, and uh, they're they're crushing it right now. And uh, we just got back from New York uh, with Jennifer Lawrence uh, for her movie premiere, and got to do the after party and hang with Jennifer Lawrence. And what a very cool, talented young lady she is from Louisville as well. Uh, what? That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, that's real cool. Yeah, so. Uh, I'm going the uh, the next thing I'm doing as far as pranks is one of the members all the guys in Lincoln Bridge are hilarious and funny and whatnot 
and I plan on doing stuff with, with all of them. But uh, next in queue, I'm working with uh, the guy who does a lot, most of the ranging. His name is Echo Alexander. So Echo and I are doing this series on trying to embarrass each other. And I can't wait to do that. And then after we get that series rocking, uh, I will bring in other people, other collaborators that come in to work with me, you know. Uh, but Echo and I will be kind of the main two. Uh, but we'll introduce other. It's kind of like a little bit like uh, that uh, Impractical Jokers, but it's uh, it's going to be like Impractical Jokers on acid. It's going to be cool as heck. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool, man. I, I can't wait to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to give anything away too much because every time I do a prank or talk about a prank, someone just steals it. So I want to get a bunch of them in queue and then release them all at once. Hey, man, be safe in Ohio. Talk to you soon, brother. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, hello, Wolfman from Lincoln Bridge from AGT. Yes, that's right, Lincoln Bridge from AGT and Louisville. I love Impractical Jokers. Hello, it's Tom. You're on the air. Who's this? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Dylan. Hi, Dylan. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing great. How are you? I am well, man. Wow, I didn't actually expect you to pick up. Uh they think it's a myth. I'm a police officer in New York City with the opportunity. I respect you so much. Yes, sir. I respect you so much. That's Stephen. Man, I don't. All these lights in my eyes. I can't see. Stephen, I love you, brother. There's a cop. So, and, and uh, where are you calling from, dude? Uh, New York. You're calling from New York. You're not the police yeah. officer, are you? No, I'm not the police. <laughs> <laughs> Watch my YouTube channel, Jason Journeys. Jason, uh, hit hit us up on the uh, on the uh, the little dollar sign at the bottom, and dude, we'll put you on the map. Dude, that's gonna be a great fun. Our next thing that we're gonna do our talk show is that people people have all these questions. Hey, how how do you do this? How do you do that? What cameras do you use? How do you how do you collab or whatever? And uh, we're doing the Prink It Up University, and people can donate five, ten bucks or whatever to the uh, super chat. Thank you, YouTube, for doing that. It makes it, it, it enables us to make a little cash to pay for our cameras and whatnot, and we will help you out. So, all right, buddy. Hey, thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. All right, buddy. We'll see you. Bye-bye. I can't believe you are doing this, Tom. Thanks for being a genuine guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Logan. All right. So, I got to leave here in six minutes to pick up my daughter from uh, Cross Country. Hello, you're on the air. It's Tom. Who's this? Hey, this is JT from uh, Harrisburg, Kentucky. JT from Harrodsburg, Kentucky. I just did a prank in Harrodsburg. Did you know that? Yes, sir. I, I believe I met you at the uh, Harrodsburg Fire Department. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's, uh, boy, Harrodsburg, you got a guy named Scott Mosley who, uh, fortunately, is a fan and doesn't have me arrested and actually helps out. So, do you work for the Harrodsburg uh, Police Department? Yes, I do. Man, let me tell you, you guys rock. You guys are just, you're, you're very, very cool. Uh, and I, I, I love to be able to do anything guys and uh, shed light on fire safety or anything. So what's on your mind, man? I miss that to be able to talk to you. And uh, you think you guys coming back here anytime soon? Or uh, Lincoln Bridge, we just did a concert there, and I opened up for them. I did, a, and I did a prank, Bait Bum Two, that is on my YouTube channel, Bait Bum Two, B A I T Bum Two, and. Um, yeah, I'll definitely uh, come there and work with Officer Baker, you know, Chad Baker. And uh, I'll, I'll pass through there when I, I'll come uh, with Emory King and stuff. So, but hey, man, thanks for calling, brother. That's awesome. Nice to talk to you, man. Nice, speak, nice hearing your voice. We'll see you back. All right, switch to desktop. What, oh, so I can see better? Yeah, well, I got it. If I can see the comments here, why can't I not see the comments here? I'm a da da da. Hello, it's Tom. Who's this? Hey, Tom, Steve Constantino here. Steve Constantino. Why do I know that name? NYPD, New York City. New York City's in the house. How you doing, Steve? Good. How's everything, bud? Things are good, man. I was just in New York City. Uh, we were staying at the, the Moose, Moose M-U-S-E, last week. And then we left there. Oh, really? I was actually doing, I was working out there last week. That's near Times Square, uh, right, Steve? Yes, I'm doing United Nations out there right now. What? So you're, yeah, yeah. you know, I saw a lot of the, the man in blue uh, with big guns, not your normal yes. pistols. I saw like AK-47s and stuff like that. Yes, that's me. 
That she do. I saw that. Yeah, I wanted to come up and say hi to you guys, but I like they're holding a gun. They they don't want me to approach them. But I uh, I almost came up and said hi to a few of you guys there in Times Square. Listen, you can always come up to us. We will always say hi. Or you can even take pictures with us. Really, I didn't know that. I did not know that. That's that's cool as heck. But uh, yeah, so we went from uh, uh, Times Square. We walked down to uh, Radio City Music Hall to see the the debut of uh, Jennifer Lawrence's movie Mother. And then we went over to a place called uh, the Flash Factory for the after party where the guys performed. That was really cool. Oh, wow. That's nice, man. Dude, I've been watching you guys for so long. You and, uh, uh, what's the name, Atwood? Roman, Roman Atwood? yeah, Roman. He's a good yeah, kid, man. So He's a good kid with kids. He just had a baby girl. So, uh, really? Yeah, man. Uh, Coral, I think his name is. So, yeah, he's got he's got two boys and a baby girl now and a, it's a beautiful family. So, hey, man, thanks right. for thanks for calling, brother. Love what you Thank do. You out there. Yeah, man, no, no, seriously, I, what I do is a joke to what you can do. What you do, I'm, I'm humbled that you call. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Have a good one. You too, brother. We'll see you. Bye. Maybe do another fight me. Let's see here. Where's the? Um, I'm doing the live chat. What are you going to do with your number? What number is that? My phone number. <laughs> Hello, it's Tom. Who's this? Yeah, this is Bob Baker calling with the Internal Taxation Service. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it looks like you have an outstanding balance here of $5,432 in unpaid taxes. That must, that's uh, correct. Are you aware of this? That's correct. That's yeah, correct. Uh -huh. so what you have to do is go down to the Western Union right now and yes. just wire us the money. Okay? Yeah, and and hey, and hey, hey, can, can I go ahead and give you my credit card too? Because uh, just to be safe, I'd like to give you my credit card number as well. Can I do that? Listen, if you don't send us the monies in 24 hours, we will have to send an agent. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I, I know, and I, I want to send, I personally want to send you money too, you know, and maybe your family extra cash just to prevent any further, you know, problem with the IRS. And, and you have a great, great accent. Are you from West Virginia? Is that where that uh, accent's from, West Virginia? Every day, people are getting scammed out of their hard-earned money by tax scammers overseas pretending to be working with the IRS. Yep. The IRS will never call you. I know. Be aware, be safe, and spread the message. I love this. Is this a pre-recorded thing? About what? Are you, hey, buddy, you still there? Don't hang up. I love this. Dude, that was very genius. I just got a call. I think it was live. I don't know. But, uh, wow. That is badass. Ah, uh, now my low battery thing's coming on. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up here in a couple minutes. One more call. Let's see. I'm an old fart from fictitious, uh, uh, a fictitious town called Meriden, Connecticut. Occupation, collecting dust. <laughs> Your pranks are brilliant. Who's that? AJ? All right. So, all right. Hello, it's Tom. Who's this? Fucking niggers. Yeah. There we go. There's um, someone getting ready to get ass, ass, ass <laughs> cancer. There you go. That's a really smart dude. Show your number. <laughs> Hello, it's Tom. Um, Tom? Yes, sir. Oh, so glad to talk to you. Who's this? This is Ricky. Ricky Bobby? Yep. How you doing, Ricky Bobby? I just had a quick question. Yes, your streams um, cuts it, every few is minutes. Is it weird if a guy watches your YouTube naked? No, nah, that's a, that's a be, Ricky. That's the best compliment, you know, when someone watches your YouTube naked. I'm, I'm, you know, if it's a guy. Now, for you, I don't know. Are you gay? Um, a little bit, a little bit I, gay. A little bit when I watch your YouTube. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. You know, that, I've I've turned a lot of straight man gay because of my, my handsome looks and my comedic genius. Uh, although I'm not gay, but if gay's your way, that's okay. I know there's still a lot of you gay folks in the closet. You know, yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it, dude. I do. Hey, man, there's a great podcast. Uh, I want to plug this podcast. I don't get anything for plugging this podcast, but it's uh, it's called Shit Town. Part of my French, but that's what it's called, and they spell it S dash Town. It's about this town and uh, the guy who does This American Life. Man, it's a great, great. You gotta check it out. Hello, it's Billy. I was wanting to know how to email you. Billy, email me at tom 
at TomMabe.com. Tom at TomMabe.com. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, stay away from naked dudes watching you on YouTube. That's, uh, that's or, yo, but you hey. naked. Is that what you're saying? I, yeah, when I watch you, I'm naked. Yeah, man, that is, that is, that's, that's creepy. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say I'm not flattered. I'm not. All right. I'm a little flattered, one dude. Last one last question. Nope. All right, I didn't trust that last question, so I hung up on him. Hey, guys, Tom Mabe here. It is 3.02. I love you. I got to go in a second after this last call. Uh, the Fez is watching you. The Fez is watching you. Okay, is he going to get me? Hello, it's Tom. Who's this? Hello, Mr. Mabe. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm a, my name is uh, Ron. Okay. Ron, I'm it's a beautiful, country. beautiful name, Ron. My name is Ishfaq Muhammad from Bullitt County, Kentucky. How you doing, Ryan? How can I help you? Um, basically, I'm having some relationship problems. Oh, let's hear. I want to hear this. Hurry up before my battery goes bad. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll hurry up. Basically, I'm in love with this girl. Who mm -hmm. Doesn't love me back, and you know, it's it's a hard life because you know it still happens. I'm young, so yeah so dude been going on but still you know i still love her and uh, i don't wanna god if i had a nickel her. for every time i love somebody who didn't love me back i'd be rich how old are you ron i'm 24. yeah dude you're gonna have about 24 friends before you find the right one find the one who... i already found 24 that's the thing you know well are you trying too hard brother do they love you do all of them has any of them ever loved you back oh uh, yeah definitely Okay. Tom Abe, I will, uh, that's the Joker. So. Well, so let me ask you this. So, but this particular one, you're just head over heels with, and how old is she? My, I left, I hold on, I'm, I'm going live again. My, my phone cut out. I, I gotta remember to, I gotta remember, Ron, to set my phone to, prep my other phone to private because people call me Sorry. when I'm live. So, dude, I don't know, man. If she doesn't love you, there's not much you can do, but, just work on yourself, make yourself better, do things that would make her lo love you. You know, you, one thing, you, you can't get mad. You, you know, and yeah, no, you I, can't I get mad because she doesn't love you, man. And sometimes you're just not the person's cup of tea, you know. And, and usually when a girl doesn't love you back, it's, you know, here's what I tell my kids. You know, girls don't really care what you look like, what you smell like at a certain point. They just care that you got your crap together. They want to make sure that, you know, I tell my kids, you got to pick your parents. If you have a baby, and my kids are young, hopefully this is far off. If you have a baby with this person and you guys get divorced, is that person going to be a decent parent? Because you're going to have that person in your life for 18 years. You got your crap together? You got your shit together? Pardon my, pardon my French? Oh, yeah, I do. Well, I'm basically a laboratory technician. I work oh. full-time. You work full-time? Uh, okay, that's good. I about 150 a year. But, that's great, dude. You know, really I got that on me, though. She, she's a, she got a great job. She's working in business. And... Okay. All right, well, have you guys dated? I dated? Yeah, we did. When it just... How long did it last? Uh, huh? How long did it last? Oh, it's still in the process of dating, you know? Like it, it's not over. It's just you know I just. How long, been, how long you been? How long you been together, dude? You've been having sex and everything. But okay. How long? How long? How long y'all been together? Uh, basically three months. Oh, it took three months. Yeah. She's Louise. She, you know, Dad on it. She still has laundry that's dirty. Then when you guys start, look, three months is just because you reached a conclusion that you love this girl. Three months is not yeah. usually long enough for someone to love you back. So if you want to make sure she doesn't love you, keep pressuring her to love you. I, you know, I don't, I don't pressure her. That's what I'm yeah. doing. Like, what? Well, 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 man, hey, well, you know, pressure. just lay back and uh, lay back and enjoy the ride. Lay back yeah. and enjoy the ride because there's nothing is more unattractive to a chick than loving her too much. You ever walk through the mall and see some hot-looking babe with some yeah. ugly-looking dude? Like, what the heck is going on there? Because he doesn't try. It's not who he is. It's who he's not trying to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm brilliant. I should just start a whole love line thing with people calling in and give them love advice. But yeah, I mean, three months. Don't judge. You got, you know, it, it may be a year before, you know, you got to, you got, yeah. girls and girls want the chase, man. They want that chase a little bit. It seems like you're, you're you've already decided you love her three months. Huh? You've already decided you're in love with her, and it's been three months. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she. So we met before. And it's, it, we've been dating for three months, but you know, we met before and everything. So. 
Well, that's that's that. I don't think she's reached that same conclusion that you had. Love yeah. must be tough. There's a book by James Dobson called "Love Must Be Tough," and uh, it's you know, the power of attraction, man. Yeah, go go read that. All right, buddy. Good luck with you, but don't man relax because I don't want you pushing her away. I'm I'm afraid, you know, you may push her away by letting her know that you love her too much. All right, I will do. All right, buddy. Have a good weekend. God love you. Bye. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. I got to go pick up my kid. Uh, it is 3.07, and my phone's about ready to die. This has been really, really fun. Uh, uh, I'm going to say bye to this person on the phone. Watching from USMC Camp Doyer. Hey, who's this on the phone? This is like Poseidon. Awesome. See you. Thanks for calling. All right, guys, love you. We will talk with you soon. Bye.